Number one, find the equation of the line passing through the point 4, 3 and perpendicular to the line 7x minus 3y equals 105. Well this equation 7x minus 3y is 105 is in standard form and the formula for finding the slope of a uh, equation standard form is negative a over b where a is the number is the coefficient of x and b is the coefficient of y so we've got a 7 and a minus 3 that we plug in this equation right here so we replace a with a 7 and a b with a minus 3 of course we want the opposite of a over b so we want the opposite of this minus okay so the slope of this line is going to be 7 thirds because the opposite of a minus is a plus okay uh, now the perpendicular the slope of the perpendicular line will be going the opposite way so if this is a positive slope it's going to be a negative slope and you're going to use the reciprocal of 7 over 3 so it's going to be a minus 3 over 7 once again you have the opposite of this slope so it's minus and then you have the reciprocal of the slope so it's 3 sevenths so a line that has this for a slope would have the, the coefficient for x, a, a is the coefficient of x and a is going to be 3 and the coefficient of y is going to be 7 and the sign between them is going to be the opposite of this okay so you're going to end up with 3x the coefficient of x is 3 the coefficient of y is 7 the sign is the opposite of this so it's going to be plus so this is the equation of a line that has a slope um, that's perpendicular to this slope. All right. The lines are perpendicular, in other words. Okay. Not the slopes are perpendicular, but the lines are perpendicular. All right. So now all I have to do is plug in my point in here. For x, we're going to put in a four, and for y, we're going to plug in a three. So you're going to have three times four and seven times three. Okay. You're going to put in place of x, you're going to put a four. And in place of the y, you're going to put this, this 3 from this point right here. Now, if you do that, you're going to get 12 for this one. 3 times 4 is 12. You're going to get 21 for this. And when you add these together, you're going to get 33. So the slope is uh, 3 seven, negative 3 sevenths. That makes this line perpendicular with this line. And the number um, that corresponds with the point 4, 3 is going to be 33. So you're going to have 3x plus 7y equals to 33. Now this is the equation of the line passing through 4, 3, and it's perpendicular to this line up here. Okay? So this is the answer. Now, let's look at a little shortcut here. Suppose we, we look at this. We say um, we want it to be perpendicular. To be perpendicular to this line, what's going to happen? The 7 ends up being here doesn't it okay so the coefficient of x now becomes what the coefficient of y the 7 ends up being right here not only that the 3 was the coefficient of y now 3 is the coefficient of x so if you put the 7 right here for the y and the 3 for the x and then you do what with the sign what happens to the sign right here it changes okay so this becomes a real shortcut that you don't have to go figure out what the slopes are. Simply make this the coefficient of y, this the coefficient of x, and change the sign. And then you have your new equation, the fast way. Okay. Uh, don't forget, once you put the, the 7 here and the 3 here and change the sign, you still have to plug in the 4 and the 3 so that you can get this number over here. All right. So that's the shortcut.